Hello, this is Dayon. This is my nightly video blog for Tuesday, May 24th. Well, we're looking to get a put in Baxter tomorrow, and it looks like uh, NEM might be turning around, and we'll be looking to get a call in NEM, but we just had the ready day today, so we'll be taking a look at that. Uh, remember, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell. Pacific Trading Academy is not a brokerage firm. What we teach our students in the program are not trading recommendation. Our instructions for educational purposes only. Alrighty, let's go over and take a look first at um, BAX. We've been waiting patiently on BAX. And here we are. We take a look at the two-year weekly. We're at the top of the regression channel here. So we're looking for a, a pullback uh, on uh, BAX. And over here, it looks like we had a ready day yesterday. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. Ready was uh, a low of 58.99. Today, we had a low of 58.95. That is a lower low. That's a set day, ready, set. So we'll be looking tomorrow. Now, because this was a, a bullish day, we'll be looking for to be, have a continuation trade somewhere right around the 59 area. Uh, Baxter closed the day at 59.45. So we're looking for a drop of about 45 points before we would get a put on Baxter. Uh, if it doesn't do there, we're just going to abort that, reset, We've been very patiently waiting for this, so if we have to abort and reset, no problem. We just wait a little bit longer. But this looks like it's setting up for a, a downturn here. And uh, if that's the case, we're not only going to get the put, but if you trade stocks, this is a perfect example to uh, a short, short Baxter at uh, the current price of Baxter, which is just take a peek. It's uh, 59.45, so you'd be shorting there. But to get a put, we'll probably go out to the August. August, it's sitting right around 60. We're at 69. We're probably looking at about the 65. Uh, the only problem with the Baxter 65 is it's got no open interest, so you might have to wait a little bit for that, or or go ahead and buy the 62 and a half. Uh, but only only if Baxter drops down to around the 59 range. We don't want to rush in on this one. Uh, we'll just wait for it to come to us, and when it does, we'll jump on that. Same thing's true with Newmont. Newmont, uh, just the opposite for Newmont. Newmont, we're looking to get in a call position. Uh, here's the plus or minus two standard deviations. But you can see Newmont is, is down here. We want to get a call on Newmont and um, let me, uh, zero in on here so you can see we actually had our first green bar today. So that is already nothing to do on Newmont tomorrow and watch to look for a higher high. Um, however, we do want to go ahead and take advantage of the Baxter trade tomorrow. Uh, Baxter would be a put. Newmont, when we get that, would be a call, and that's the way this portfolio works. It's, a, it's an awesome balance. And that is my blog for tonight. Come on back tomorrow night. Uh, good trading. Bye-bye now.